Hey guys, welcome to Escape from Tarkov Bootcamp. Guys, for a lot of you who are brand new here, you guys will not understand or actually grasp some of the concepts. Now, some of them are pretty simple for Tarkov, but Tarkov as a game is fully challenging from its own system set up to help you <laughs> basically, uh, I guess you say, play Tetris and packing to all the way down to the specifics of every gun modification you have out there. Now, for a lot of you that are out there, you guys will definitely be brand new. This is what the brand new screen says to you. You can read it and it's like, hey, brand new. And then you can get what you want here. So we're going to just go with English right now because I do not speak Russian. I'm very sorry. If I spoke Russian, this would be so much cooler, but I do not speak Russian. Because, I mean, I would be a James Bond villain, if you think about it. Put like an eye patch on me, do something cool. I mean, what, what would you think my name would be? Like... The, the the evilest man on earth. Oh man, I'm horrible. I can't even think of my own name about that part. So so the next part of the screen that you're going to see after you hit next is you're going to hit this. You're going to put in your name. I put this all the time. Oop. So that way when people see that they kill me, they can come to the channel and check me out. I just wanted to see the gameplay action and enjoy the whole content. And if they can benefit from what I'm doing, great. That's why I use my name that way, you jerks. <sighs> all right. So we're going to move to the next part of this. What you're going to do is you're going to select your character. I usually select Baird. Look at him. He's sexy. He's sleek. Why would you pick a U.S. guy? I mean, look at that. He has to hide his face. This is how ashamed we are. Russians, they know who they kill. It's up right there. Now, this is a basic, you know, loadout for what you purchase in your package. Some are bigger. Some are smaller. I myself have you know, the Left Behind edition where it comes with two backpacks, an AK-74N, a shit ton of pistols, my black rock, some cash of rubles. I think it's four hundred thousand. I get. I got about twelve of these. 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 Now, usually, these don't really matter so much. And this is what the main focus of today is going to be on: is the whole entire area. Some people believe that it's pay to play. You know, oh, when you get more stuff in your inventory, so you can hold more, so you're not worried about losing. Granted, this is true. You get that, but uh, it's not really a big deal right now because. In all honesty, with the guns that are going on, like you can compact things. Like one of the things I really teach is a first tip that you get from any kind of basics of this is you're gonna open this up, boom, you gotta drop this there, boom. And this saves tons of storage. Now, the bigger the backpacks, the more you can fit into them. I tend to put my backpacks here down at the bottom for an organization. You may have a different opinion. You may want to put backpacks up here and then decide to scroll down for guns. Now, when you're playing Tarkov, the first half of it, I'm gonna just tell you right now. Save these meats. These meats are actually going to be helpful in the later runs. But sell this stuff off right here. The water. Um, it's okay to have like two in your inventory, but I try to sell them off immediately. I don't like keeping them because they just take up more space. Um, for every gun I have, there's a clip already inside, but I don't think for these ones it's the same. So yeah, so one clip inside, one clip to use, and then I sell off the extras. I don't like to be wasteful with my space and everything I have right now. Seventy-two hours later, and pretty much you're good to go from this point on. You can choose however you want to set it up. This is all your taste and preference of how you want to set it up. You know, but besides that, guys, uh, this is the organization. Now, the other tabs you will have in the beginning parts that you may not understand and you may not be very helpful is you're going to also look at the gear. So this is where you're going to get your whole loadout of your character. The health over time is this is what you're going to see and use more in-game. This doesn't really fluctuate or change any time right now, so you don't have to worry about it at any point, you know, in this part of it. Like, you can look at stuff, but it, again, it really doesn't make a difference. Now, your skills is where it's going to be a bigger thing in a fold that where we're, we're going to actually go more into depth about this. But you have endurance, vitality, strength, health, metabolism, perception, immunity, intellect, you know, attention, charisma, memory. It's just a whole pistols, revolvers. SMGs, assault rifles, you basically are going to go through a way of customizing a whole character and how they're going to redo from, you know, in this game itself. I mean, as you can see, there's different levels. You have P, you have C, and it's just, it's going to be just in depth so you can actually get down to, as, as you see, mastering those skills. So you'll become efficient in it. So you'll, you'll really sculpt out your warrior. There's a build that comes completely in depth with this. 
Now, but we're not going to dive too much into this. We're going to make this another episode. So sorry, guys, if you're here for that. This is just a basic EFT, okay? So we're going to look at the map. The map is not here right now. There is no maps in your inventory because I just freshly started and your tasks are not loaded. Now, for you guys out there that are actually going to go into it, you guys will actually get to find those tasks in the future when they're actually issued out to you. Those you can usually do by going back over here and going to your traders. And each trader will have a different little marking. Right now, flea market and auctions are not open, but you can go to these characters. Look what they have to offer at the first stage. Usually the first stage is the weakest part. You want to kind of evolve and get a little bit more into it. By doing that, you're going to actually take tasks that will raise the level right here for your uh, what is it loyalty to them. But also it's going to be the, depending on the level that you're at to get them at level two or at three and at four and, you know, completely crowned. And the same thing continues on. You'll get task. So like right now, task unlock requirements, level five. I am not that. So I'm going to have to start up basic. Services, still not there. So as right now, as you can see, they're very limited to where they're at, but they're really, they do play a part. Mostly the focus is you want to make sure that you complete on the tasks. The tasks are what important are really important because it will unlock new items, new stuff you can buy, and better gear so you can fight off other people. So as this game evolves and we have more of an open map, you guys will get to see that whole open map. So it's pretty cool that that's kind of set up that way. So guys, make sure you enjoy that. Get into it very much. I'll, I'm, I'm looking forward to it. So besides that, guys, um, that is just the first part of Escape from Tarkov. Guys, I hope you enjoy the video. Make sure that you like, subscribe, do whatever it does, you know, that you should be doing for YouTube. But I appreciate you for being here. And guys, stay posted so that way we'll have more videos coming out about more EFT and evolving and talking about all the different abilities, the assets that you can figure out, and just little tips and tricks and highlights. If you didn't see my highlight reel, holy shit, guys. Come on. Holy shit. Look at the video. It's above it. Above. Go above. Above it. All right, guys, and as usual, as I always say before every end of every video, bonus on a new level. Have a good one.